everyone. In today's video, we're going to talk about Helmholtz resonators, and we're going to see how can we use them to solve problematic frequencies in our rooms. Welcome to Jacinto Studios YouTube channel. Uh, with us, you can uh, learn more about audio and acoustics and solve your questions and your problems with us. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about Helmholtz resonators. We're going to see a little bit further about what they are, how do they work, and how we can use them to solve the problems we have in our rooms. The Helmholtz resonator consists of an enclosed volume with an opening and a neck. It is widely used to achieve adequate absorption at lower audio frequencies. It has a great advantage in the practice because you can tune it to a problematic frequency and solve specific problems. You can change the volume of the air cavity, change the length of the neck, or change the opening area to change the resonant frequency. So in this way, you can calculate the exact frequency you need to work. This is nothing particularly mysterious. They pop up in various forms in everyday life. Blowing across the mouth of any bottle produces a tone at its natural frequency of resonance. Sound is absorbed at the frequency of resonance and at nearby frequencies. If you put an empty bottle in a studio, it will absorb a very narrow band of frequencies around the resonance frequency and you will probably not notice it. The width of this absorption band depends on the friction of the system. Adding absorbers to the Helmholtz resonator will increase the bandwidth of absorption. In practice, we design several Helmholtz resonators in a row to make a piece of furniture or a surface, as can be seen in these images. The openings can be rectangular or circular and also in different shapes. There are some formulas to calculate these types of resonators. Uh, we are showing the formulas here in this slide. But in the internet, you can find calculators though, where you can change the values and see the results. We recommend the calculators of MH Audio that you can find in the description of the video. First, it is necessary to get to know your rooms. You need to take measurements and to know exactly which frequencies you need to work. In our channel, you can find further information about how to do this type of studies. We already knew the frequency we needed to improve was around 100 Hz. It is also important to know where are these modes located, so where is the resonance frequency stronger, because in this place you need to locate the resonators. When you open these calculators, please consider fixing some values according to your room and vary some other values. In our case, we fixed the panel width, the panel height, the panel thickness, and the depth of the airspace. And we varied the hole diameter and the amount of holes to achieve the 100 Hz resonance. So, our panel width, uh, we used one meter. In the height, we used 40 centimeters. That was the work panel uh, we found on the market. The panel thickness was 2 cm, that was also uh, regarding the wood panel we found in the market, and the depth of the airspace was 40 cm, according to the location in our studio. With the hole diameters, we choose uh, 1.9 cm, that is 3 quarters of an inch, and in the amount of holes, we chose 83 holes. So, when we calculated this, we found the frequency of resonance was around uh, 100 Hz. Then we used some absorbed material in, inside the Helmholtz resonator to increase the bandwidth around this 100 Hz. Once we have the calculations, the design, we should make a list of materials to start building the resonator. So, in our case, we purchased wood tables with the width and thickness we calculated. We also purchased wood reinforcement for the corners. You need to buy some absorbers. These absorbers should be rock wool or 
glass fiber. In our case, we purchased glass fiber uh, to do the absorption of the resonator. You should not buy foam for these absorbers. Foam doesn't work in low frequencies, and the low frequencies that we need to treat with these absorbers. So this material should be rock wool or glass fiber. These kind of materials can contain a lot of dust and loose fibers. So we need to use fabric to avoid the material to go out of the resonator with the openings. You should consider acoustic transparent fabrics as the one you can see in the right. These absorbers can also irritate your eyes and skin, so you should consider using protection such as glasses, face masks, gloves and special clothes before manipulating the rock wool or the glass fiber.